Hey guys, it's Chris, and welcome back to Something Else Computer Related. As you know, I normally do repairs on the Commodore Amiga, and even dabble with some Apple stuff every once in a while. But I'm also a consumer of all sorts of goodies and connectors and things. So today I'm going to be checking out the new Pulltop 10 gig USB Type-C hub with a charger. Let's check it out. Now, I'm going to be testing it out on Linux because I have a 10 gig USB Type-C port. In the box, you get the hub itself. All metal. No plastic. All metal. A decently sized cord, I hope. Threaded. Cloth. Wrapped. One meter cable. You also get a power supply. Rubber banded. Nice. This power supply is 100 through 240 volt, 50 or 60 hertz. Outputs 12 volt, 24 watt, and 2 amps. That will go in here, DC in. That's what gets you your charge capability here. Now it's got some fancy lights here. I'm not going to peel the plastic off no. just yet. This is Ubuntu 2204 LTS. I have a USB 10 gig cable. I also have an MTech SSD and PCI Express 3.0 256 gig SSD in an external case that we can test this with. We have a 1 on the light. Linux just picked up the device. This is my Dell U2410F. So this is a Windows formatted drive. You can see I have some videos. I'm going to copy this 4.7 gig file and we're going to monitor the speed. Uh, yeah, that was pretty damn good. This is 4.7 gig back to the SSD. Bingo. That is super, super fast. But, how fast is it? I'm going to use the program HD Parm. Pseudo HD P-A-R-M. We're going to do minus T slash dev slash S-D-A. This is going to measure the read. We can run this several times and get an average. Let's see. This drive is a generation 3 drive. Its maximum sustained rate it's probably around 3 gig. There we go. These are disk reads. 808 megabytes per second. Remember, this is a 10 gigabit per second, which is about 1 gigabyte in real life. So, bit, byte, you know, they're basing them on 1,000 now, so this is pretty close. It did 2,428 megs in three seconds. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a HD uh, pseudo pseudo HD PARM. We're going to do a minus T, and then we're going to do direct slash dev slash SDA. Now the direct command is going to do another transfer rate, but it's going to bypass the hard drive's buffer cache memory and read directly from the disk. Here we go. Whoops. <laughs> there we go. I typed part. Direct disk read. 812. So it's a little bit faster not using cache. I'm going to run this again. Up arrow, enter. Get an average of it. Direct disk reads. 824. So we're really close to what this, this hub says it'll do. 820. So our average is around, I'd say, 815, 818 with the highs and the lows of the average. What I want to test is the direct cached full blown read and see what it is. So it's the same command, but we're going to do a minus, our capital T here for the full test. This is cached read speed. So this is what Windows is going to use and, and Macs are going to use. And it should really rip. This one should really rip. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah. 16,317.04 megabytes 
per second. That is insanely fast. That is going to depend on your device. In this case, I'm going to show you, for example, like if I do the same test, let me unmount this disc. We're going to pull this NVMe out. Here it is right here. We're going to plug in this MTech. This is a very slow USB Type-C uh, SSD. It's 256 gigs in space. I'm gonna run the. Oops, let me zoom in. I'm gonna run the exact same tests on it. Run the first test. This drive is a lot slower, so this is not gonna put the hub through any type of craziness. 475 megabytes per second. This is an old school SSD. Offset 20. We'll do the direct. All right. So that was our offset time cache. 16 gigs per second, basically. And let's do a direct scan. So we're going to do the direct. This is bypassing the cache on board. 443. Now this is normally a 500-ish, 550 megabyte SSD. So that is really good for me. Now if you have a Type 4, Generation 4 NVMe, and a super speed kick butt uh, machine and you know it's you're gonna have no problems and this is four ports and it has charging so for example here's a perfect example this is a GoPro it is USB type C I'm gonna move it to the charging block and we're gonna charge my GoPro as I drop it on the floor directly off of this port oh cool and I get a voltage reading of what it's drawing. So I'm drawing between 2 and 2.4 watts of power. There's 2.2. The camera is on. It's connected to Linux. And that display is really cool. I really like this hub. It's pretty cool, isn't it? So here's the website for these guys. P-U-L-W-T-O-P dot com. Uh, they're having a show the same weekend I'm going to VCF East. But as you can see, I was interested in this thing. These are the hubs for the Mac Mini. This is for the studio. They even have one for the daggone MacBook. Your iMac. All these cool hubs. This is the one I got right here. The three port with charging. $38. Great. Four in one. 10 gigabit USB-C to USB-C hub and data. Charging, not support video. USB hub multi-port adapter with USB 10 for iMac, MacBook Air, XPS, I guess that's PCs, Dells. But I mean, I like the charging feature if you have multiple SSDs. Charge your phone, 24 watts in, 20 max out, 20 watts max out. That's pretty good. USB 3.2 Gen 2, this is a USB 3.1 port on this guy. So maybe that's why I'm not getting my super duper speed, but I'm really, really close to what it says. So for once, with a manufacturer that says their device will do something, it actually does it. So you guys have just found a new favorite from me. So that's kind of why I want these guys from Pull Top, because Pull Top, Pull Top, because they made a product that actually did within 90%, now that's my devices, of what it says. If I had a Generation 4 SSD drive, something kick butt, even better than this, it would be, you know, top of the line. And for what I'm going to use it for, it's perfect. I could use different hubs, I can use different USB Type-C devices, I can have all of my GoPros plugged in, my Rode mics plugged in, and that is going to be great enough for me. So now, I would like to thank those guys for making a cool product. And that's a quick review of the Pull Top USB uh, 3 port with charging hub. It was only $38. So there you go, there's my order. Shipped, it was $45.08. Paid with the old PayPal button. So you can get yours too. I got it direct on their old website. So why not give you a try today? I don't have a code. This isn't like a sponsored 
paid video. So you can get yours today direct from them. I'll link the description down below. You can probably find them on Amazon or other resellers too. So this has been my quick review of the Pole Top 4-in-1 USB Type-C 10 gig hub with charger and an LCD display. Under 40 bucks price-wise plus shipping, you know, 45 bucks. Yeah, 45.08, and you can have one too. So that's all I got for now. Thank you guys for coming along on this quick review of something cool. I like to share with you what I use, and if I find it interesting, I just toss it out there. Maybe it can help you. And if you're interested, you can grab yours today. Doesn't I don't get anything out of it, but you can send me money too if you want. No, just kidding. So that is all I got for now. Thank you guys for coming along on this quick review. Until next time, thanks for watching. And I hope you learned something. Uh. What do you know from funny, you bastard?